my friend, people is appointed to die. The Bible said, and it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. Hebrews 9:27. My friend, I am asking you the most important question of life. Your joy or your sorrow for all eternity depends upon your answer. The question is, are you saved? It is not a question of how good you are, nor if you are a church member, but are you saved? Do you know for certain that you have eternal life and that you will go to heaven when you die? Do you know what? God wants you to be sure. Stay tuned. God said, I am to Moses, you know, my name is I am. He was trying to get him to see you are as I am. It's how you see it. It's how you see yourself. You know, why do people have such a fit about God calling his creation, his creation, his man, not his whole creation, but his man, little gods? If he's God, what's he going to call them but the God kind? I mean, if you as a human being have a baby, you call it a human kind. If, if cattle has another cattle, they call it cattle kind. So, I mean, what's God supposed to call us? Doesn't the Bible say we're created in His image? Jesus said, go in my name, go in my stead. Don't say I have, say I am, I am, I am. When I read in the Bible where He says, I am, I just smile and say, yes, I am too. Say after me, within me, is a God man. Say it again, within me, it's a God man. Now let's say it even better than that. Let's say I am a God man.
friend, you've been lied by the world. And you've been lied to by many well-meaning, yet very ignorant Christians, preachers included. Did you know why? Because Satan is the god of this world. And he has deceived the world. And he also deceived the most professing Christians. Also, did you know that Satan wants you believing that all is well, but as you've just seen, all is not well, isn't it? You are a lost and condemned sinner headed straight to hell. You were born in sin and you will live and die in sin unless you take the cure that God has graciously provided for you. That's right, you are headed for hell. But God doesn't want you in hell. The word of God said, God is not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. In Luke chapter 13 verse 3, Jesus said, Except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Your eternal soul is just as precious to God as that of the greatest heroes, leaders, warriors, patriots, Christians, preachers, teachers, missionaries, and martyrs in all of history. Did you know the reason why? It is because God sent His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer and die and pay for your sins so that you wouldn't have to pay for them in hell. Romans 5, 8-10 says, but God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son. Much more being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. That's the way how God loves you so much. In fact, God cannot save you apart from you receiving Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. John 1 12 says, But as many as receive him, to them give he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. You need to accept Christ as your personal Lord and personal Savior. Receiving Jesus Christ is your personal decision, and no one else can make it for you. The Bible said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 to 10. If you know that God has convicted your heart and has shown to you that Jesus Christ is your only hope, then you may be born again by placing your trust in Christ right now. Yes, right now. That is, you may call upon the name of the Lord to save you. Romans 10, 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Why not right now, my friend? Why not get it settled once and forever? Why not get your new life started today? After all, tomorrow could be too late. Here is a sample prayer. Pray it with all your heart. Dear God, my eyes have opened and I see my hopeless condition. I realize that Jesus Christ died for my sins, was buried, and then rose again for my salvation. I now receive Jesus as my Lord and my Savior. Thank you for saving me and please help me to live a Christ-honoring life. Amen. If you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are now a new creature in Christ, and God expects you to live a holy life for His honor and glory. Start reading the Bible, and you can also pray regularly, and if we can help, please let us know. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you.